Well, we're all Potter nerds, but we know that the book was written in 1973, and there are certain things that are in the book that appear in the Potter books. I've read the entire series and love them, but we really had the Potter police, and that was our producer Tra Tracy, who has a dog named Muggle. Like, I've read them, but Tracy like really, really knows them. So there was one thing with the umbrella that Kate does, that Hagrid does, we're like, okay, we're letting that live because it's a cool <laughs> idea and that's like our little nod. But other than that, we wanted to keep them pretty separate. So there's, there's like the goggles and the glasses, that's a parallel, would you think? No, that was really from the book and that's Captain Midnight. So mm -hmm. I wasn't really going for Harry Potter with that. Cool. As much as I love those movies <laughs> in the book. But as you, as you say, the book predates Potter, so yeah. there are things that, that have been obviously inspired Harry Potter. Yeah. Um, Master of the Dark Arts was another one. Mm -hmm. Um, is this your horror film for kids, Eli? Oh, absolutely. Although it's weird, I don't. I think of it as like a gateway movie. If you love scary movies, you're going to bring your kids to them and get them into scary movies. This is like the the gateway film. Th this is probably this is definitely a question for both of you. Is there anything in there that you think might be too scary for kids? Owen. Um, I I I'm a fan of horror movies, so I I liked. I like all of it. No, I think it's perfect. I really I think you want to scare kids but not traumatize them. <laughs>